All right, so here's my rubbo spreader. We've attached a call a linear actuator to the on-off tiller type bar uh, that controls the gate to the hopper. There's an umbilical cord that travels up and to the control head unit right here. There's a breakout wire that occurs uh, right down here that uh, I've dropped down to a, a two-wire battery connection uh, to get power to the to the linear actuator. The control head has three buttons. Each one is programmable to the position uh, for the hopper. I have it set so that the uh, number three button here closes my hopper and I have a medium opening uh, for the number two button and a wide opening for the number one button. These can be uh, programmed just like a car radio and put the hopper in the position that you want, press and hold the button uh, for about five seconds. The LED lights up telling you that it's been programmed. Uh, using two buttons at a time manually controls uh, the open and closing of the, uh, of the linear actuator. Uh, the entire control unit is, uh, is connected uh, by some Velcro so that I have enough length where I can uh, put it up, reach up into my uh, uh, while I'm running it if I need to. Haven't had to do that though, but that was the plan. Just uh, vel simply Velcroing it down here to the side of my control panel is, uh, is working out great. And so now I have complete control over my hopper uh, on and off and amounts as I uh, drive my ZTR mower. And there couldn't be a harder mower to, uh, to work with in the Ferris for attaching some kind of a front hopper uh, to because of the active suspension. But uh, with this rig, there's no problem at all. I have one zip tie here to keep the uh, umbilical located uh, centrally over the motor, keep it away from the heat. Um, and it, uh, it works very well. The full extent of the linear actuator uh, fully closed or, or uh, com uh, retracted into the linear actuator completely closes the hopper. Um, can't do any harm. It has a four inch travel which is uh, you could be uh, spreading gravel I think with that kind of opening. So anywhere in between and the full length of the actuator motion uh, cannot hurt the, the, uh, the mechanism, overextend it or, uh, or over retract it. It's simply attached by a couple of screws here to a mounting location on the hopper itself. Uh, easy to, to remove with a single hinge pin here. Uh, I have a, uh, a bolt going through the standard factory hole on the, uh, the control lever here. So uh, it, uh, it's all IP63, which is uh, a rating for water spray, so I can hose this down and there's no fear of uh, damaging the electrical or uh, having water intrusion uh, in, into, the, uh, into the motor operator. So that's my solution. Uh, the actuator retail was about $100. The, uh, the control uh, module, uh, the box was maybe $7 and uh, the rest of the module just goes inside the box and uh, that cost uh, retail at about $50. So I have $150 tied up in my robo spreader. And finally, uh, I, I have complete control over my hopper while I'm uh, fertilizing using my ZTR mower.